get home. It's your favorite song. You're going to need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, a tape measure, some needles to weave in the ends, and a pair of scissors, and whatever yarn you choose to use. I will leave the name of the yarn that I use in the description. You're going to want to start off with a slip knot. And for this video, I'm making an extra small, so I'm going to chain up eight. When you get to the eighth chain, you're going to want to block it off and then chain up an extra two. And then you're going to have double crochet in that eighth chain that you had blocked off. And then you're going to just continue to have double crochet down the row. All right, to start the next row, you're going to chain up one. And then you're gonna turn your work and then you're going to just half double crochet back down the row. And you're going to repeat this until you have a total of eight half double crochet rows. Alright, now you should have a total of eight half double crochet rows. We're going to start working on the front part of the bikini bottom. And you're going to start increasing. So you're going to chain up two, turn your work, and put a double crochet in that same stitch as the chain up two. And then you're going to double crochet all the way down until you get to the last stitch. And in the last stitch, you're going to place two double crochets. Alright, so you're going to repeat row 9 again, chain up 2, turn your work, and place a double crochet in the same stitch. You're going to double crochet down the row, and in the last stitch, you're going to place 2 double crochets. And you're going to repeat this for a total, you're going to need to have a total of 10 double crochet rows with the increases on both sides. Now we're going to work on the mesh. You're going to chain up three to start it off. Turn your work and you're going to skip two stitches and double crochet in the third stitch.
you're going to chain up two, skip two, and double crochet in the third. And you're going to repeat that until you get to the end of the front part of the bikini bottom. Now this is how it should look after you finish the mesh row. Now you're going to chain up two. Turn your work and you're going to place a double crochet where well, you're going to increase at the beginning. And place a double crochet in the same stitch as you chain up two. And you're going to place a double crochet in each stitch. At the end of the row, the last chain or the last stitch you're going to place two double crochets. And that is how you get the front part of your bikini bottom. So this is what it should look like when you finish that last row. Now we're going to finish off and attach our yarn to the other end of the bikini bottom so you can start the back. Alright, so I've attached my yarn and I'm chaining up two and I'm placing a double crochet in the same stitch as the chain up two. And I'm going to double crochet across the row and then the last stitch I'm going to place two double crochets. And I'm going to repeat these same steps for a total of 20 rows you should have a total of 20 double crochet rows for the back
coming off the last row I chained up one and I'm going to place a single crochet two single crochets in each double crochet row and this is for the edging yeah so two single crochets in each double crochet row when you get to the crotch area where you did the half double crochets you're gonna put one single crochet Here's how it looks when you finish the edging and now I'm starting on the, the ties. For this extra small, I believe I chained up 75 chains for each tie, so you're going to make four. Once you chain your 75, you are going to skip two and then place a single crochet into the next stitch. And you are going to do that all the way down to the end. And you're gonna do that for all four of your, your ties. All right, now I'm showing you guys how I attach my ties. What I do is I find the corner of the bikini bottom and I just pull my tie through the loop and I use my hook to pull the other end of the tie through that same skip, where you skip two chains, I pull it right through there and then I just pull it up and that's how I attach my ties. Alright, here's how the finished product looks. This is the end of the video. I hope it was easy for you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.